doubt. No doubt. And in fact, if you think about it, um, religious people believe that there's going to be a resurrection of the dead. Well, if you're in heaven alive, why would you need to be resurrected from the dead? Obviously, you're not dead if you're in heaven alive. You see the paradox there? Of course, Jesus was talking in a parable to disguise... Um, to disguise what he was saying. So that when you die, you're actually losing consciousness. Now, uh, the, there's two elements to life. There's a physical and there's a spiritual. The spiritual can get along well without the physical, but the physical needs the spiritual. Now, how can I prove, you know, I'm not going to just sit here or walk here, I should say, since I'm walking, and tell you these things without giving you the proof of it. I mean, um, if you ask anybody, the ministry, what's your proof, they'll just say you have to exercise faith. Well, you know, that was good, that was good enough um, 20 or more years ago, before science before scientific study, but there's enough science now, studies and knowledge, that you don't need to exercise faith to believe that there's two units to a sentient being. It says in the Bible that um, all physical life, except for plants, has a spirit. That means the ants have a spirit, your cat has a spirit, your dog has a spirit, and you have one. And plus the physical bodies of all animals. Now the two work together. And when the um, physical body runs its course and ceases to exist, the spirit does not disintegrate. It stays but it doesn't function without the body. So that when a person dies, the um, spirit remains inside the body until the body disintegrates. Now, I would say the location of the spirit is inside the brain, since that's where it's needed. So if you were to talk about well, what happens when uh, the body's dismembered and cut up into pieces and etc. I'm going to tell you from what I'm thinking because the spirit and the brain need each other that the um, um, spirit will rest wherever the head rests. So wherever you bury your loved one they're still there and they're very much alive waiting for a resurrection, which will occur eventually. So, uh, I'm just not going to sit here and tell you that the human body, or any sentient being's body, 
has a spirit and a physical component without proof to back it up. So here's your best proof is I want you to go to a library or a bookstore and I want you to buy a book on twins because spirits can connect. If you concentrate on an individual very deeply you will connect your spirit with theirs to the point where the other individual that you've been concentrating on you will pick up in some way on that person's present condition something that they're concentrating on very deeply you will pick up on it too and that's how you'll know that uh, spirits that there is a spirit inside you and other individuals because you'll know what this person's doing even though they're not around you or near you. Now the proof of it is in the study of twins where one twin will know what the other twin is doing or how the other twin is feeling about something because they they have a spiritual connection they become very close to each other so that if one twin moves thousands of kilometers or miles away from the other and then undergoes maybe a, a traumatic incident like a car accident or um, a robbery or something like that the other twin will pick up on it and that's what you're looking for uh, twin let's see you're looking for the subject of twin communication over long distances and I guess that's it for now on the subject